Are you looking for a budget telephone? But you don't know which one to get because there's so many on the market. Well, I had the same problem. But then I come across this, the Panasonic KX-TG2511. It's just the one base. Which here it is, just the one base, um, it's all I need for in a small, very small room office. <laughs> uh, if it's in the whole office, you laugh. But yeah, just one base, uh, it is obviously cordless, take around wherever you want. It's got a base. This particular one don't have a ants machine on, but I'm actually on Vonage. So yeah they got their, their own built in telephone uh, and machine same with BT if you use the 1471 or wherever it is 1470 something like that yeah their answering machine uh, basically how that answer machine works when you pick up the phone you start beeping I'm not saying that you got a message uh, but obviously there's no actual answer machine built into this which obviously I didn't need anyway I, it's a budget phone at the end of the day you know, I've got my main house phone downstairs is an expensive phone, it's, I think it's about 110 quid plus I think I paid for it. Uh, but I just want to budget one for my office and it's done a trick. Some more features on here though, it's uh, got 50 uh, names and uh, numbers that you can store into the device. It's got a nice EK button here so you can reduce the uh, uh, the transmitter power uh, you just by simply pressing they go to normal low normal and low yeah you did see me press a few times you have got to press because if you accidentally knock it then it's going to turn you off but and that's just how house cut down the uh, amount of power it uses basically uh, go for power uh, yeah, it's like electric. Oh, I'll just pull my screen so back on. Uh, I'm doing a few, but before anybody asks me again, this is called the uh, Future 3D City because I've had loads of emails asking me what this screen size is. So there you go. Yeah, so it's not bad. It's like I said, still 50 telephone numbers and names. Um, speak phone, so press the speak button. As you can hear. Which I can't turn off, I've got it on full. I can hang up. Uh, it's basically a simple operation. You, you can scroll through your uh, call this list, intercom, phone book setup, uh, headset setup, base unit setup. I'm back to my menu. Uh, There's your address book, you can search, and so on. It's got, it has got different uh, ringtones, which I'll quickly show you. I believe it's in here. Ring tones, yeah. That's what I've got at the moment. It's got 10 ring tones in total. I reminds me of a video came I can't think which one it is. If you remember it, let you know send me an email at wine at geekstech.co.uk and tell me. And that one for some reason. And this one. Well that's the one I've got anyway. So ten million terms in total is pretty good. You've got a display, you just change the contrast and the language. You reach the headset keynotes on off. Uh, auto talk. So if you pick up the phone off the base, it will automatically uh, pick the phone up instead of having to pick the phone up and press the answer button. Uh, what else we got on here? Base unit, you've got flash call, privacy, repeat mode. So they a great lot of features on, on the phone itself. There's there's enough for a budget phone, you know. It is a enough. 
the thing is, it also is got color display, but that's only if you pay for your color display. But it is on there, and definitely works because I've actually got color display with Vonage, and I found it, and it does come up with a with a number. And if the person's in the address book, it also shows the name, so that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, I don't think that's. I think that's about it. Really, Let's just quickly check on the back. Uh, clear sound, luminous display, which is obvious. Oh, that's the one. Uh, it's it's up to 18 hours talk time and 170 hours standby. So that's pretty good. But it is also rechargeable batteries, which is AA, sorry AAA, which actually charges up one once it's on the base. Tells you on there, charging, and once it's fully charged, it's door site fully charged. There's also a time and date on there, battery symbol, and to me that looks like, on the bottom here, it looks like a uh, a tenor range, yeah, a bit like your uh, signal, yeah, your signal on, on a mobile phone, but it does, it, to that it's showing no bars, but it works. I'll go to the top of my garden and it works, even though it still shows no bar. So I don't get to deal with that. So, yeah, I ain't unsure what to put it on this particular one if you don't do nothing. Just more two cents. Uh, the range on this, uh, it don't actually say, and I've been trying to find out for, for you lot, but I just can't seem to find the range anywhere. Yeah, it's not even on this box. But I tell, if I have an educated guess, right, I could go up to the top of my garden, which is about from the back door up to the top. About 10 metres. No, it's probably more than that. About 20, 20 or 30 metres, one of that. It works fine, so I can't give you the exact distance because one that varies on different conditions and two I just it just don't say and I can't find you on the internet so overall it's a uh, it's not a bad phone like I say it is on your budget phone does the job no ain't loads of fancy features it's got good memory 50 names and uh, numbers which is all you need really it's got no telephones machine so that's got a speakerphone now, which is a big plus for me. Overall, I'm happy. I'm going to give this a GT ratings of 4 out of 5. Um, There's just a couple of things that really let it down was basically the signal strength bar just don't do nothing. It don't give you the range, which still ain't a big deal, but it is to some people. So it would be nice to support. You know, can go up to, I don't know, like 10 metres, 5 metres, 20 metres, 50, 100, whatever, you know, just would be nice. Uh, I can't really say, I can't really find much more about that actually. I think 4 off 4 is decent really. Structure mining is good. Uh, the layout, the menu layouts can be a bit iffy, so that's knocked the point off anyway. So, can't complain. Oh, one more thing I forgot. It's wall mountable as well. There. It screws, screws in, you see, and it goes down and it slots over. So, I forgot about that. It's wall mountable. Obviously, I'm going to put it on my wall because I'll be with this, but I, forgot, I totally forgot about that. <sighs> Almost. Alright, also a telephone finder. See, I, I, I forget these sometimes, man. Jaws up my for recording. Anyway, so if that phone's over there, I press that. And it starts in the phone, so you can go and find your phone. Yeah. So that's bleeding out from those. The amount of times I lost my phone downstairs, and I've had to use the features for I did. So, yeah, anyway, that's the review. It's the uh, Panasonic KX TG2511. GT ratings are 4 out of 5, it's uh, tears user friendly, the menus can be a bit 
Mm, but your radio instructions, instructions quite decently laid out, so it ain't too bad. So, overall, if you're after a budget telephone, I would definitely recommend this. Well, that's it from me. And as always, you can find me on www.geekstech.co.uk, twitter.com forward slash 4 geekstech, that's the number 4. That's we got, we got uh, me.me forward slash geekstech. I don't really use that much anymore because nobody seems to use it. I have uh, tried to get people to use it, but it's just not interested, so I'm going to scrap that soon. Now, you search for us on Facebook, Geeks Tech. Then we got youtube.com for slash Geeks Tech, where you just subscribe to our videos and rate them. Uh, if you do subscribe, I will subscribe back, and you should got decent stuff on your channel. Yeah. If you got spam and will be shot that stuff I won't bother so yeah decent stuff subscribe and I'll subscribe back uh, and we've got the live video feed at live.geekstech.co.uk where you can see me live 24 hours a day 7 days a week pretty much I'm having a few problems at the moment which I'm hoping to sort out this week um, if you've got any questions or queries maybe you as a company you want to send me a product to review uh, sure or I guess the video reviews out everywhere I can go on my blog on YouTube uh, YouTube what else we got uh, geekstopperillo.com we've put posts someone there uh, oh there's another one podcasts uh, iTunes I'll get the iTunes podcast on there I'll put someone there as well so yeah as well as I've on Twitter and Facebook and a few more things so I'll do get your videos out so if you want to send me some products to review get in contact or any question or queries from anybody else anything to do with tech or gadget feel free to email me at wayneageekstech.co.uk until the next time I will see you later